Professor. Renard? All right then, children. On my signal, one, two, and three. And they're off! Now... Your balloons are beautiful in the sky. Yes. You see, the hot air and steam from the geysers makes them float upward. But a far grander sight to behold will be the large one when we launch it. If we decide to risk it, that is. Oh, it happen again, Professor. Impossible. I've never heard of a volcano with such an effect. The wind currents on this plateau are continuously drawn to it. Whatever could be responsible? Perhaps Wauka does not want you to travel to the sky in your balloon. Wauka who? He is god of the volcano. Well, Wauka better not try to stop us from walking away from this place. This balloon's our best chance yet to get off and find my dad. It's time for my uncle's next round of tests on the plateau's air currents. Let's keep our fingers crossed so he has better luck this time. So much for that. Maybe we should forget the idea of using a balloon to get off the plateau, if it's going to get us all killed. <laughs> then again, getting roasted in a volcano might be a better way to go than the slow poisoning of Challenger's cooking. Blast! I'll give him a hand. Bloomin' Flint! What I wouldn't give for a match! Having troubles, Challenger? Perhaps what's needed here is a woman's touch. No! Uh. What I need is off this blasted plateau and some fine English food in me tummy. Fine English food? Isn't that an oxymoron? Who are you calling a moron? Watch and learn, Challenger. Rocks that shoot fire! Neat! What a mind-boggling power source! My people have found fire rocks here for centuries. They are Walker's gift to us. And they're perfectly suited to keep the air in the balloon hot enough to maintain flight. Uh, Professor? Dread! The support line, Princess! Hurry! I would like to fly with the birds in your balloon. Where's the professor, Billy? He went to the Ayara village to see if anyone can tell him about the air currents here. We're supposed to meet him later at the balloon. I'm curious about that too. But first, some food. Nay, yuck! Is this food? It's me Aunt Agnes's secret recipe. <laughs> Pass. I'll just have some fruit. I cook, you eat. You all eat! Thank you. I think. No! You 
lummox. Hey, there's no reason to be testy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Challenger in a kitchen is like a raptor in a china shop. <laughs> At least someone likes his cooking. I've had enough. Make your own eats. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Sheesh, I was only kidding. I've learned from experience to stay clear when Challenger's in one of his moods. Don't worry. He'll be back. And when he is, it's his turn to do the laundry. Good help is so hard to find these days. <laughs> <laughs> I want off. And who's gonna help us do that? Some crazy old geezer with a toy balloon? I'm not in the mood for this, ape. Ha! <laughs> we London boys are tougher than you airy lot. Not carry you. I'm terribly sorry, old chap, but I'm afraid you're wrong. You're in for a bit of our magic now, Urkan. <gasps> ah, see for yourself, my good man. My, my balloon? What you doing up there? I haven't authorized a launch. 
It's Billy and Mina! No! I want to get down, Billy! Me too, but we gotta get the air in the balloon to cool. Let's ditch the fire rocks and we should float back down. I hope. into the volcano. Where Walka will be waiting for us. Why do you keep talking about this Walka? He gave the gift of the fire rocks to the ancients long ago. But because of their greed, the ancients wanted more. And took what they wanted from his palace of fire, cutting them from his very walls. It was because of the ancients' ways that Inti called on the power of Walka to destroy them. Today we sometimes find fire rocks around the volcano. But no Ayara may enter. <gasps> oh, I hate to say it, Mina, but you're one Ayara who's going in. Whether you like it or not. There might be a chance if they land in the crater. Oh, we've got to find a way in. There is a river near the launch site that flows into the volcano. Perhaps we can enter there. The river is the way, but we cannot risk angering Wauka again. Remember our past, Empress. I know our legends, brother. But it was greed that brought the wrath of Wauka on the Forbidden City. Not children in danger. My people believe if we enter the volcano, Wauka will take revenge once more. No Ayara may enter. But you, Wauka may allow you in. Because we're not Ayara. Don't worry, Empress. We'll find Billy and the Princess. We'll bring them back. Splendid. A trip to the inside will allow us to further study this wind phenomena. There must be a logical explanation. Bring the Mohat to ride. We gotta get off this thing. Mina, Giggles, hurry! to get off that ride. I'm no expert like my mom, but someone made this ledge. And look, there are others. The ancients made them to steal the fire rocks. If your people made this, then they got in. So that means there's a way out. Come on. Warriors of fire, they will try to stop us. Mina, Wauka isn't real. It's just a... Wauka! Huh? Where'd it go? As for me, I'm going to find the exit. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hey, wait for me! Blimey, what is this place? I say, the draft coming out of this grotto is uncanny. It's acting like an exhaust outlet. My theory is the wind goes in the top and out here. Then this is where Billy and Mina should have ended up, if they survived. I'm sure they did. Billy and Mina know more about the plateau than we do. <gasps> the kids! Challenger! Boy, am I glad to see you. Can't say the same, Billy. Whoa! You gotta watch out for those fire rocks. They're everywhere. Flippin' heck. We best get out before they melt <laughs> us. What? An ape? What's it doing here? <laughs> you don't want to go that way, trust me. Then the way out is upstream, though I'm not happy about it. Tell us, Challenger, what are you and the old one doing here? I was just about to ask you the same question, Mina. See, we had a little disagreement with some of them hairy blokes. It will happen again. Guess this is what a fox feels like on a hunt. At first, I didn't believe it, but I'm beginning to think what Mina says about this place is true. Tell me about it when we get out. If we make it, that is. That sounds like wind blowing into a bottle. Yes, it's the same principle as an organ. The air flowing through the cracks and crevices is enhanced. A type of music, you see. Deadly music. There's a smell here. It's uh, quite familiar. Yes, I knew this. Mom! Billy! Professor! Still in a fine move, eh, Challenger? What about the river? It flows into the volcano, and the current is too strong to swim upstream. By Jove, it's sulfur. I told you to quit your... But it's pure sulfur. That's what ignites the gases that flow through the entire volcano. Sulfur. Well done, Uncle. Somehow, I don't think Walker's going to like that, Roxton. It's time to fight fire with fire. When the ancients took the fire rocks, Walker destroyed them. Then we won't take them. We'll just borrow them for a while. That should just about do it. Now, who's got a light? You're kidding, right? This entire place is on fire. We need a control spark, so we'll be far away from that pile of sulfur when it blows. Oi! An egg with a flint? No, wait! That one's mine! How'd she get her paws on it? What are we coming to when a prehistoric ape girl has fire and we don't? No wonder you two are friends, Challenger! She's not my friend! Oh! Don't get your knickers in a twist! 
You can have it back afterwards. Everyone, get down! Huh? Look yet! Challenger, there's no time! We came together and we're leaving together! It worked! One way clear! Everyone, out! Now! <laughs> are closer to us than we think. Particularly some of us. Don't start with me again after the day I've had. Well, I'm afraid after today we can never use a balloon to fly off the plateau. Walker was kind to let us leave the volcano. Perhaps one day he will let you fly in your balloon. Mina, Summerlee's explained about the flames. It wasn't a god or any warriors of fire. Just burning sulfur and gas. Are you so certain? <laughs> <laughs> 